Hello, how's it going guys? It's Fury. Welcome to Chasm. This is a game that I've been waiting for for a very long time. I'm extremely excited about it. Just came out. Just came out. It's been in development for six years and it's a procedurally generated Metroidvania action adventure platformer. Let's just go. Oh man, let's check out the options real quick. This is the first time I'm starting it up. We're gonna go through the whole thing together here. Uh, drop this down to 80 just for now. This looks good, looks good, perfect. Okay, I'm not gonna mess with the controls or anything. Let's go. New game, right now. Name, our name shall be Londar. Londar. That is our name. Sir Londar. And as a procedurally generated game, it has a seed. So that's my seed right there if you want to play through it. The same exact world that I am. There we go. All right, normal. Let's go. Ah. Londar. Londar, wake up. Nice. I thought I'd find you up here. Did you fall asleep watching the knights ride off on their mission? Don't worry. You're the brightest recruit this outpost has seen in some time. Soon you'll be a full-fledged Gildian knight, and I'll still be here running errands for the commander. Which reminds me, he sent, he sent me to find you. Your orders are to report to Commander Silkser's office at once. You'd better hurry, he seemed even more impatient than usual. Oh yes, so we could jump and punch. Punch, we got a back step. Okay, let's not back step off the tower. Let's go. Oh man, can I jump from up here? Yes, I can, ooh, okay. Nice. Very nice. Keep out. I don't know if there are any secrets like this early. Oh, what's this? Save spot? Yes, it is. Okay. Save statue. Eyes of the Watchers. Kneel in the light of the Watchers, and your deeds shall be recorded in the Tome of Light. Their eyes will always find those who shine brightly. They remember our deeds in this life and offer us a place by their side in the next. Let the light of the Watchers illuminate your path, and they shall aid you in your time of need. A fizzle the younger. A fizzle the drizzle. <laughs> I love the back step, by the way. Very nice. Let's continue to explore this area. Another guard tower, probably. Yes, hello there. Not a lot of action this morning, but the view sure is beautiful. I do agree. I love this pixel art. Love it. Now, let me just check something. So we got a map. We could set a marker right away. That's cool. Oh, wow. Look at this. We're not going to go through any of this right now because we don't even have anything yet. We haven't killed anything this, to unlock anything on the bestiary. Ooh, hello. Gildian Oath. By the light of the Watchers, I hereby pledge my sword to the land of Gildia. I will illuminate the places where darkness dwells. My shield shall always be ready to, to defend those who are defenseless. I shall seek to be brave, just, and loyal for the glory of Gildia. Oh yeah. Sorry, I can't train in the yard with you today. Yendrick says I need to stay in bed until I get better. Stop back and tell me if anything interesting happens, okay? Sure thing, buddy. Sure thing. I'm sure something... Nothing interesting is going to be happening. I could look up and down. Sweet. Okay. Okay, perfect. General Cyrus Tifoli, 362 to 427. Everyone is out chasing down bandits and I'm stuck here cleaning. That's the last time I throw dice in the in the barracks. <laughs> oh, hello. If you ask me, the commander's horse eats better than we do. This must be his horse. 
Oh, hello. Simon. You know the rules, recruit. No one leaves this outpost without the commander's approval. <laughs> we just take our frustration out on this training dummy a little bit. All right. I feel like there was an area we could have gone to back there. I just want to make sure that I... Oh, there you are. Go right in. The commander's waiting. All right. Well, here we are. At ease, recruit. I have a mission for you. There's a small mining town about three days' journey to the west called Carthus. This morning, I received an urgent letter from the town's mayor. He reports that the miners were attacked by a wild beast while working deep in the mines. The last time this happened, it was only an injured wolf that had found its way down there. Regardless, they refuse to go back to work until it's been taken care of. I know this sounds like a trivial matter, but we depend on Carthus for supplies and raw materials. As you know, I sent the knights on a mission yesterday, which leaves me a bit shorthanded. I need you to go to Carthus and do whatever it takes to get those mines up and running again. I think you're ready to become a Gildian knight, but you must prove yourself first. Do you understand your orders? Yes, I do. Good. Head to the armory and get properly equipped before you set off for Carthus. Godspeed, recruits. Sir, yes, sir. Let's go. Wow, your first mission. I had a feeling today was going to be your lucky day. Be careful on the road to Carthus. The snowstorms are treacherous this time of year. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> ah, like, I, I'm almost speechless at how excited I am to play this, finally. The birth of Gildia. In the year 398, the tyranny of Linhine's despotic leader, King Trell, forced many to choose between their lives and their values. The people were lost and confused in the wake of the capital's destruction, but General Cyrus Tifoli rose to guide them. He made it his mission to secure the land so that a council of leaders could establish Gildia, a kingdom without a king. This council was created to ensure that power would never again be concentrated in the hands of one person. Soon after Gildia was formed, the council's first act was to formally create the Knights of Gildia, led by none other than Tifli himself. Hello, Master. Maester. Yendrick. Have you come seeking a blessing to aid you on your journey? May the light of the Watchers guide you. And that spider. 114th of Luminoth, 772. Two recruits caught gambling, both sentenced to 10 days of extra duties. 115th of Luminoth, 772. Year of 772. We've received a report of bandits attacking traders on the road to Delcath. The commander has dispatched the knights to investigate. So there's we got a bandit problem. Interesting. Before we we got to go this way anyway. We can't leave yet. We got to get outfitted first. I think we could have gone Maybe? Wait. Wait, hang on. Yeah, we didn't go this way. Interesting. Hello, you! Rory. So the commander is sending you on your first mission? You'll be needing a weapon, then. Take a sword off the rack. Yes! Oh yeah, short sword. Make sure to equip your sword before you set off. Just remember your training and you'll do fine. Oh man, equipment... We got quilted armor, okay. Short sword, and we get a, we get another weapon over there, or a secondary weapon, or a shield perhaps. Head armor, accessory one and accessory two, okay. Strength, intelligence, constitution, and luck. Perfect. Is there a level level one? Yes, we level up too. So it's like Symphony of the Night, Castlevania. Excellent, excellent. Full inventory journal. Okay, we get these journal entries. We've already read them. Artifacts, map, perfect. Options, yes. We've already gone through there. Uh, bestiary, yep, kill 11 more to unlock. Okay, let's go. We are ready. Oh man. So we can punch too. Ah, so that's our secondary right there. Primary, okay, perfect. 
Primary is X. Jump is A. Secondary is B. And you're Simon. It looks like you are all set. Make sure you have everything you need. Once you go through this gate, there's no turning back. Let's do it. Good luck. You're gonna need it. Hey, man. Where's your vote of confidence? You got a long journey on foot. I better become a knight after this. Okay, it's been one night getting here. And here we are. Carthus, established six, year 672. Oh man, hello. Can't search anything over here. Can I jump on this? No. No smith. The forge is cold. Oh, we can save here. We better do that. Yes. So this game, been in development for six years. Procedurally generated. Metroidvania. Similar to Dead Cells, in a way. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit more RPG than Dead Cells, though. Little bit more. Ah, man, I want that. Can't seem to interact with the door, though. Hmm. Okay. Just want to make sure. Oh, you could attack diagonally, too. Nice. Well, down diagonally. Okay. Yeah. Professor Basden, Basden's letter. Dear Basden, I must confess I believe you may have something interesting to say for once. The tribe you described in your last letter seems to have some basis in reality, which is more than I can say about your crackpot theories about King Trell. I'm glad you have put aside the, these childish fantasies about magical forces driving the king mad. You should focus your efforts on this ancient civilization. It may be your final chance to prove yourself. Sincerely, G.P. Mages, or Magis, Dean of Anthropology, Gildian Academy of Science. Hmm. Man, open up. <laughs> All right. Wonder how you access that stuff. Some kind of switch? Candelabra? Hmm. I'm gonna feel really stupid if I can if it's very easy to open these. Whatever. Okay. All the doors are locked. Maybe there's a, another way I could jump up there or something. Whatever. I'm not gonna spend too long trying to get that. You probably unlock it eventually. Carthus Mines, employees only. All others are prohibited. That's the dungeon. That's where we gotta go, but let's go over here first. Hello, old man. Oh, wait, let's read all this. Missing persons. Anyone with information regarding the whereabouts of the following people should contact the mayor immediately. Narina, Dom, Ash, Princess, Ethel, Wynn, Rupert, Basden, Jinx, Cade, Duncan, Grant. J.Q. Carthus III, Mayor of Carthus. Is this the mayor? Let's celebrate. Carthus's 100th anniversary is nearly upon us. On the 121st day of the Luminoth 772, we will gather to celebrate the historic day the town was founded by J.Q. Carthus I. All townsfolk and visitors are invited to join. Please bring a dish to share, and we'll see you there. J.Q. Carthus III, Mayor of Carthus. Wanted, Felix, Farron, and Drake Stryker. The notorious duo are wanted by the Kingdom of Gildia to stand trial for crimes of thievery and piracy. They were last seen heading east, towards the Ladorian Mountains. Beware. 
Both are to be considered armed and dangerous. If you see either individual, please contact the authorities immediately. Wake up. Thank the Watchers, a Gildian Knight. Oh, you're only a recruit? Well, I reckon I should just be thankful I'm not alone anymore. My family has been running Karthus for generations, but it's begun to unravel under my watch. The mines have become less and less productive in spite of our best efforts. In a last-ditch effort to keep Karthus alive, my crew began blasting in search of a new vein of ore. Some sort of beast emerged from one of the new passages, and the miners fled to the surface. I wrote to your outpost for help, but then, a few days later, things got much worse. In the dead of night, a gang of hideous creatures came up from the mines and ransacked the town. When the morning came, I finally worked up the courage to investigate and found the town was empty. Please, you must find the missing townsfolk and help restore Karthus. Take this key. It will open the gate to the mines. And please remember to report back here if you find anyone. Thank you. Now we can get in there. Perfect. But. But. Let's go this way. Some more. Oh, wait. Did we... We looped around. Okay. Let's see if this is faster. I don't think so. Okay. Let's... Uh, before we go in the mines... Let's see if this key unlocks any of these doors. Probably not. All right, whatever. I'm assuming we go back, we come back to town once we're in here. I don't know though. We're in here though. Let's do it. Okay, can't go that way. Yeah, we have to, that's a shortcut from deeper in the mines. Excellent. Okay, can I jump down? I can. Adventure begins. We could break that. Oh. Ooh. Okay, can't go that way yet. Unless. Alright. We need to find something to weigh that down with. Remember, this is all procedurally generated. Oh, one hit kill. Like, the rooms are all hand designed, but. They are, uh, the actual dungeon and world is, like, each individual room is hand-designed, but they are procedurally stitched together. So that's what the, uh, seed determines, you know? Okay, we need a high jump or a double jump to get up there. Yep. Poison floor. I don't know what that was. I think there was like some kind of worm enemy on on there. All right, let's see how fast we could. Okay, so you have to wait for the animation to finish on your attack before you can backstep. Ow, okay, well, what's this? Oh, we got some gold. There's some coins, 10 coins to, oh, I keep forgetting. Don't forget again. Can't do that. Can't keep getting hit by falling lanterns. Definitely getting that nice Castlevania vibe from breaking the uh, breaking the lanterns. Leveled up from breaking one of those things. Nice. Can I? So we're level two. Oh, and it replenishes your HP when you level up. We have magic points, too. That's going to be great. Cannot wait. All right. Let's see if we can break this guy. Break his spirit. Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay. We got to save. Nice. Yes, please. All right. So I wonder how much experience I get for those guys. Whee. Because if they regenerate or respawn each time you... Oh. 
Ooh. Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, but I just used this to jump up there. But was there... Hang on. I gotta check the map here. Oops. Wait. Where are we? We're right there. Okay. Was there a way up, too? Yeah, there's a ladder up here. But first, I want to check down here. I don't know if there's fall damage. We got a slime. Another little Metroid hedgehog. I have to kill, I must kill everything. Need that XP and money drops and any other kind of drops too. Okay, these guys have more HP. Perfect. I feel like I, I really want a ranged weapon or just, I don't even know. Like, I wonder how many weapons there are in this game. I know there's going to be <laughs> eh, a lot of cool stuff. Is that a bandana? We got a bandana. Yes. Equipment. Head. A useful cloth bandana that is worn by miners. Yes. Yes, please. We got a little bit more defense now. I see that bat up there. Ow. Kissed it. <laughs> Get away from my loot. That's right. We have 60 gold. Or ish. Gold coin-ish. Gloop unlocked. Ah, uh, because we... Topaz. Nice. We could probably sell that or something. So there was that ladder that was all the way back there. We never went that way, though. So I'm just going to continue. Look at this. Is that a map? Another Topaz. Okay. Gotta kill you over here. Okay. Don't know if the uh, poison floor or whatever, the poison mists, don't know if that's a instant death, but I don't want to find out really. Let's actually backtrack this way and see if it connects to that ladder we could have climbed up earlier. Okay. <laughs> And we got treasure. We got a club. So we got a new weapon already and an iron ingot. Oh, but we can't duck. We don't have the morph ball yet. <laughs> so let's check out the club. Our attack goes up. I don't know if we get slower. Rudimentary club carved from the wood of a yew tree. We'll give it a try for a little bit. The sword was nice and fast, but this thing does more damage. And it's an overhand clobber <laughs> so for fast attacking we have our fists I don't know if we take contact damage I'm assuming we do okay gotta keep my eyes open for you <laughs> bat versus bat how do you like that Oh, what? Ah! Come here. Smack. Boom. Playing gloop ball. So these are like little, what are they? Your typical goblin. Little cave goblin. Let's actually, I want to check this real quick. Glowworm. Okay. Drops none none. So that you can find out what they drop. Drops bandana. The gloops drop bandanas. Nice. Oh man. I have a very strong feeling that I'm going to be putting a lot of hours into this game. Unlocking every, every bit of information. What everything drops. 
Okay, we got a cave entrance over here. Um, can I... Let me check the map. I'm going to set a marker right there. Did we set a marker? Hang on. I suppose we did. Okay. Well... Ow, stop. These guys just walk right into you. And collect this, and then let me go back there and see. I do not want to... We missed that one ladder up. We may have missed treasure. I do not want to miss this. Okay, is this a boss? What do we have here? I can't seem to... It has like a picture of a pickaxe on it. Oh, wow. Um, this one is sealed. All right, let's check this one. Oh, nice. We got a shortcut back to the beginning. Perfect. So I, I didn't notice the marker that I placed. I guess it's just the... Uh, it's a little white dot, probably. I don't know if I could clear it. But I guess I'm not going to really worry about it right now. Wait, that didn't do anything here, did it? No. Okay. <laughs> you like my little dance? Gotta check if, uh... Check if something works. It's like, uh... Alright. Wish I could do like a... Well, I guess I can, kind of. Do a plunging attack. Oh. Well, I'm sure I could jump from here, right? Yes. I'm gonna have to backtrack at some point. Okay! Alright. Boom. We got a cave troll. Okay. Pretty easy pattern so far. Don't know how mad he's going to get. Ow. Ow. Don't die. Okay. Don't get greedy. I'm getting greedy. That's why I'm getting hit. I should just att attack twice. Or once. But we did it. Who cares? We got, we got 200 gold. Onward. Oh, hello. We freed somebody. Basden, thank you for your assistance. I am Professor Basden of the Gildian Academy of Science. I suppose you're wondering how I ended up in that cage? I first arrived in Carthus nearly a year ago, searching for remnants of King Trell's caravan. While staying in town, I learned of the cave paintings throughout these caverns. To my astonishment, the paintings were made by an undiscovered tribe that lived here nearly 1,000 years ago. I named them the Lodori after these mountains, and began to devote all of my time to learning about them. They're a very interesting people, but their sudden disappearance is what captured my curiosity. My research was going swimmingly until one of those creatures sneaked up on me while I was studying and knocked me out. The next thing I remember is waking up in that cage with a splitting headache. I believe we have a common interest in finding out why people, both ancient and modern, keep disappearing here. The miners were last blasting on the bottom floor, so we should head down there to begin our investigation. Come now. Together we can open the gate to the lower levels of the mines. Excellent. So is he with us now? Oh, we gotta go to where that sealed... Sealed cave entrance was. Let's just head that way. Check that out. Pretty sure. That was right up here. Am I correct? Um. <laughs> no. I suppose I'm not correct. Hmm. Hmm. Well, this is the exit of the mines. And so I'm sure the red is where I have to go. 
Let's just backtrack there real fast. Check. Is this the right way? Yeah. It's actually quite a bit, quite a distance away. I'll try speed running my way there. Oh, we never went this way either. Oh, look at this. We found some lore. Professor Basden, entry number one. My search for the King Trail may have been in vain, but luckily I've discovered evidence of an ancient civilization which thrived in these mountains at least a thousand years ago. I shall refer to them as the Lodori tribe in reference to the Lodorian mountains in which they once lived. Based on these paintings, they appear to have been a peaceful hunter-gatherer society. Their written language is primitive, but very similar to ancient Delcathian script. Could these people be related to the early tribes of the East? I will need to find more examples if I am to fully translate it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this first episode here. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. See you next time. Peace out.